Good afternoon, welcome, 4pm, uh, no it's not, <laughs> it's nowhere near 4pm, what am I even saying? Um, good morning, or good afternoon, it's 12 noon time, oh we'll take a bit of that sunshine, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> I don't know where my head's at, it's a little bit windy here today, um, but there's some nice sunshine, it's playing havoc with me washing really. We don't have a washing line, which probably doesn't help. Um, so we normally hang stuff on uh, on coat hangers on the, I nearly called it a skirting board, but it's not a skirting board. It's the, what is it even called? I can't even think today. What is wrong with my brain? What is it? Gutter the gutter that's what I'm trying to think of so we normally hand the washing up on on uh, coat hangers on the gutter <laughs> off the gutter um, and just kind of lay a few items on the on the chairs and stuff like that um, so hence why a few items have, have since gone across the garden look there's my t-shirt there's another item Oh, it's got a bit of a chill in it when the, when the gust of wind comes along and it plays havoc with me wispy bits as well as you can see. Um, I'm pleased to report Willow and I have got a haircut and colour in, in, booked in for next to use day. Um, so we'll, we'll get our holiday hair done. Uh, Neve's already had hers done. She had her prom hair done, didn't she? So she's not having hers done. I can tell you that much as well. Okay, I think I just lost you for a second. Um, hopefully we'll have one or two of you coming in. It looks like you'll be catch her up in. I'm hoping that might be a little better. It was just flicking from 3G, no 4G, to um, Wi-Fi. I think I must be in the the zone, the in-between zone, the no man's land between uh, the Wi-Fi that's in the house and the 4G that's outside the house. Anyway, it looks like it's 12 noon. Um, I'm hoping I'll get one or two of you along in a second. It does look like I'm on the right group. It does make me worry from time to time. I can see somebody's just joined in though there. Vivian's in, there we go. I know I'm on the right group. It does say private group, just at the top of the screen there. But um, sometimes it's hard to read. Rightio everybody, let's have a go at a bit of circulation boosting then. So three, two, one, afternoon welcome. It's, uh, it's polling day, voting day in the UK and uh, this will be the 4th of July 2024. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'm gonna put that there. So I've got a heavy, heavy chair, heavy piece of furniture um, for my external support. Um, a, a good solid chair for my sitting down stuff seated prompts first lift tall you my legs are hardly touching the floor my heels are bobbling off the floor there so i need to get into a more sturdy position out here at the front where i can get my feet planted get the posture lifted and uh, set off into the foot pedals let's just get the hose pipe out the way a little bit that's better um, into leg marches when you're ready and if you're in standing you may have your external support slightly in front of you or to the side or you might be in a place where you've got support both sides that you can use and that's a light fingertip touch not too heavy leany or loady into the arm or arms as you get your legs marching, bring your arms in bit by bit. Try and keep your head up tall, your chest lifted and open. 
your movement from the shoulders to get all of those muscles that come across, crisscrossing across the back, the shoulders, the chest, the neck area, moving. And it's these big muscles in the legs, of course, that will be more contributing to the slight lift of heart rate and your lift of breathing rate that you probably start to notice uh, any point coming soon. Now, if you would like to take a walking circulation boosting, excuse me, chicken. Oh, hello. <laughs> you can, of course, do that. <laughs> you see, my girls are in tow with me. Um, and then bring that down to a pause. Right. Take, a, take and enjoy a few deeper breaths at this point. Okay, we'll do a, a little bit of wrist, wrist loading, wrist work. Um, now, have a look around you. What have you got? Have you got a table that's maybe about hip height or a worktop? It may be... Um, it may be the side of the bathtub that you hold on to as you do this wrist loading move. Um, it may be uh, that you go a little bit lower onto a chair, holding on to either the sides of the chairs for a slightly easier angle on, uh, on the wrists or go for the flat hand look. You can do this against the wall as well, or a radiator or a window sill, which again gives you a little bit of an easier um, bend rather than expecting it to come into a right angle here. Depends how your wrists move. I'm gonna do mine here for standing options. If you are leaning quite far over, get into your knees and try and keep your back long. Your tummy muscles support your position here and your shoulders are just going to shift forwards and then shift off. So you're just changing the weight from your legs here to over your arms. Holding the chest strong, the shoulders strong, the load is being um, going straight down through your wrist. You will feel increase of um, load there in, uh, and feeling of your weight over your arms. And hold that for maybe three or four seconds, five at the top, uh, and then shift back from there. If you are leaning over quite far, as you stand up tall, take your time. Sometimes that little lift of body position might, you might need some foot pedals there. Do a few. And if you were in seated, here's a couple of options for you. You can try and do both hands, arms at the same time. You're coming into a bit of a, a sit to stand preparation position and just trying to push, push up there. So your, my elbows start a little bit loose and bent, as you can see there. And then they come into, I'm a little bit slouched here as well, which is all right for the time being. But then you're pushing up, trying to lighten your, your sit in the chair and take a bit more through the, the wrists, the arms, the shoulders are working there as well. Now, you might want to have a go at that with one hand. And if you do, you'll need to turn yourself around to a place and have a bit of a fidget around here where you can get your hand on the centre of your chair there. And you're probably going to need to um, have your feet and knees apart like this. Now, you can do that with both arms, just supporting. Most of it's going through this back arm. Or you could try and push or even shift so I'm off at the minute I'm going on to the single arm um, so that's a shift to the side or you can try and do a lift 
or a lighten of your bum sit on the chair. You're going to need to come into a bit more of a, a wider position of your feet. You might have just slightly one side of your butt cheek off the seat. I think I've got about one and a half of uh, my butt cheeks on the chair. And then of course you've got a bit of hotching and adjusting and moving and swizzing round to do on the other side. So start up shift across or have a go at lifting or have a go with both hands at the same time can you stop pecking my shoes thank you <laughs> now we need strength in the wrists for gripping grasping lifting holding carrying if you've got a really heavy shopping bag that can really give a pull and a tug on your wrist and and be a, a, a lot for the hand as well. Um, so it keeps the wrist strong for lifting and carrying um, items, kettles, saucepans. And uh, also, you do this probably lots of times. You have to put your hand on the bed or up to pull the sheet across. You have to put the hand on the table to reach to wipe. You put your hand on the bathtub to wipe or switch the taps on. And there's a hand on for any reaching actions as well. All of those things. And load through the wrists when you're propping yourself, sitting yourself up in bed um, or moving around on the floor as well. So there's your first move of today. Your second move, we're going to do some toe lifts. Um, now, small muscle in the shin area here. Mus uh, muscles and uh, soft tissues around the front of your foot. Toe hinge activity as well can come in here. So take a bend into the knees if you stood, bum tucked under, rather than stuck out and just pull the toe hinges up. Toe hinges up and down. So take them up and down and follow this up in seated as well. Just sitting tall on the edge of your chair. That's what you're to... This is what you're trying to achieve if you've got your shoes on. You won't see that very well in the shoes that I've got on. But that's what we're trying to get with the toe hinge uh, action. Do a few of these in uh, the 8am, don't we? Now, from there, into the knees, bum tucked under in standing, into the toe hinge lift, and then weight into the heels to try and get the ball of balls of your feet off the floor. And hold it there. Hold your uh, external support as well, because this quite easily could challenge your balance. And go again. So toe hinges first, weight into the heels, lifting the toes, the ball of your foot off the floor, and then slowly come back down with control. Have a look at that from the side. So hopefully you'll see that my knees stay bent, and my bum stays tucked under. So there's the toe hinge lift and there's the shift back onto the heels. It's almost too easy to do that but try and keep everything upright with a bit of softness in the knees there. Now when seated that's exactly the same but you don't need to think about your balance and you don't need to think about uh, anything other than keeping your back up as straight as you can. Holding it there for a few seconds for some strength based gains and down. Can you feel a bit of an ache coming in just on the outside edge of your shin bone? Maybe across the top of your foot, uh, top of the ankle area 
and maybe even a bit of tiredness and achiness coming in around the toe hinge joint and the top of your foot there as well. So this gives us a bit of ankle strength, it gives us a bit of uh, um, muscle strength in the muscle that runs alongside your shin and it will pick up your toes and your ankles um, oh hello chicken um, as you're walking and stepping and clearing your toes when you step over or onto something um, with greater strength as well comes less tiredness with this muscle when we are moving around quite like this one small muscle groups can get tired and fatigue quick but that's all right that's what we want it to do and that's how we build some strength as well is by getting it to a point where it's aching burning a little bit feeling a little bit uncomfortable if you've got that burning sensation pedal it out flush it away it should feel better pretty quickly Okay, how are we doing for time, everyone? Okay. Right, last thing to do, we're just going to do some extra back extensions, crowbarred in from the morning routine, sit or stand. Um, let's go up through the posture, shoulders back and down, and just go into a small but definite um, back extension. So this is an extension of your bestest posture and used well throughout the day to break up periods of time when you've been leaning and bent forwards, flexed over. I've not mown the lawn yet, I'll need to do that in a bit and maybe a few of these to balance that um, leaning over, hoover in the lawn action. A bit more. All right, job done. And there we go, everyone. There's your there's your uh, twelve noon with a um, bit of focus around the ankles, bit of focus around the hands, the wrists, the, the arms, the loading there, and um, a bit of final focus on uh, how we can crowbar in the good stuff from other movement snacks. All right, everyone, thanks for coming. Um, thanks if you're not quite here yet, but you're doing a catch-up. Uh, thanks for coming along to the catch-up. Ta-ra for now. Uh, Bex will be with you for the four.